Before we begin, November is Native American Heritage Month. I want to first point your attention to my home, where I create the projects that I share with you all. It sits on land that Indigenous peoples first called home. Indigenous, or Native Americans, have called Milwaukee home for thousands of years. Even though their history is what we learn most about, Native Americans still call Milwaukee and America home. Painter Fritz Scholder's Indian series of paintings showed Native Americans in a new way. He painted Native Americans doing the same things that other modern Americans would be doing, such as eating an ice cream cone, drinking a soda, and riding in a car. Shoulder himself was a member of the Lucenio tribe of Native Americans. One way Shoulder showed indigenous Americans in the present time was to paint them in the clothing of their day. When we think of images of Native Americans, we often imagine their traditional clothing. Wearing feathered headdresses, buckskin leggings, carrying bows, arrows, and hatchets are popular but misleading ways artists often depict indigenous Americans. While these items may be worn by some, they are not what all Native Americans commonly wear today. Here we see a cowboy hat, a bright purple polka dotted shirt, silver belt, blue and black striped pants, and cowboy boots. Fashion changes with time and is one way you can tell when a person lived. Let's design a new look for today. We will start by printing patterns onto paper to cut into clothing. You will need paper, paint and or ink, textured objects that you find around your home, scissors, and glue. Collect objects that have interesting textures that you can get messy with ink or paint. Texture is how something feels. Textures can be random, like the holes in a sponge, or patterned, like the circles in the bubbles of bubble wrap. I'm gonna try to find a variety of textured objects to use as stamps to make patterns and textures on my paper. Some may work and some may not. It's okay to experiment with art. Here are the objects I found. Now I'm going to see how they work. I have my paint and my ink pad. Spread your paint out flat and thin on a piece of board or on a plate. Press your object into the paint, then press it onto your paper. If it makes a nice mark, you may want to try different paint or ink and paper color combinations. Here are a few examples of the same stamp in different colors. After your papers are filled with fun patterns and textures, and dry, decide what clothing you'll want to cut out of which papers. I think I'll use this polka dot pattern made by the bubble wrap to make a shirt like Fritz Shoulder did. I'll use this paper for pants, and this texture paper for a hat. You can draw the shape of the clothing on the papers first, or go straight to cutting. Then arrange your outfit on a larger sheet of paper and glue it down. Use background paper that is a single color without a texture or pattern. This will help your fashion stand out. You can use your extra textured paper in the scene. This texture reminds me of a furry animal. I like riding horses, so I'll use it to add a horse to my artwork, just like our inspiration painting. You can draw in additional details like a face, buttons, and jewelry if you like. Show us your unique and modern fashions.